Hi everyone, it's Rodney from Easy Graphic Company. Today I'll be showing you how to upload SVGs into the Cricut Design Space. I wanted to cover this topic because I keep on getting questions from users out there who keep on reporting getting an unsupported error whenever they try to upload an SVG or another file type. So today I'll be covering common mistakes people make when they're uploading images into the Cricut Design Space as well as a bug that's specific to Windows 10. So first, what I'm going to do is I have my zip folder right here that I've downloaded. And we can tell it's a zip folder because it has this little zipper right here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is click into this file and then click into this one. And we'll see that we have all of our image files right here. Now, if I try to drag and drop one of these files into the Cricut Design Space, you'll see that it says only files are allowed. So the reason that I'm getting this issue with any of these documents is because we haven't extracted the files from the zip folder. And we can tell this because at the top of the page right here, we'll see it says extract. So this is a UI issue that exists on um, Windows. It allows you to actually view the files within the zip folder without actually extracting them. So what we'll need to do beforehand, um, before we try to upload anything into the Cricut Design Space, is make sure that we extract the files from the zip folder. And that's really easy. All we'll need to do is select the folder and click Extract All in the top right here. We'll see that this prompt appears and we'll click Extract. Okay, so once our files have been extracted, um, we can actually click into the folder and we can tell that these files have been extracted because there is no extract message that is shown right here at the top of the window. So if we go into the folder, we'll see all, all our files. And as you can see now, when I click and drag over an image, it allows us to upload that image into the Cricut Design Space. So I'll show you another common mistake that people make uh, whenever they try to upload files into the design space. And that's um, trying to upload an unsupported file type. So if we look right here, we'll see all the supported file types for the Cricut design space. Um, off to the left right here, I have two unsupported file types. One is going to be a PDF, and the other is going to be an EPS. And if we try to drag either one of these files into the design space, we'll see that we get this message right here where it says unsupported file type. And so I'll do that again with this EPS. And as you can see, unsupported file type. Um, we can only upload these types of files into the design space. And one really easy way to check and see if the file is supported is if we scroll over right here in type, we'll actually be able to see what type of file this is. So that's a JPEG, PNG, and it doesn't show right here, but this is actually an SVG file. So now that I'm showing you this right here, and it shows that it's an HTML document, I'm going to show you another common problem that happens when trying to upload files into the Cricut Design Space. And that um, has to do with Windows. And basically what happens is when you download your files, Windows will automatically associate your SVG with Google Chrome. And if Google Chrome is your default browser, this could happen and it mainly has to do with um, the file type being associated as an HTML document as opposed to an SVG file. One really easy way to fix this problem is if we do a right click on our file and go to properties, we can actually change the program this file opens with by clicking here and just selecting Internet Explorer. All right, so that's been changed. We'll hit apply and OK. And now if we go to our folder and we look at that file again, we'll see that it's associated with Internet Explorer. And if we scroll over, we'll see now that the type displays as SVG document. And this won't always give you a problem, but I know it's an issue that exists um, and does ca cause problems in the Cricut design space. So once we've actually changed the default program, of that file, we can now drag and drop the file into the design space and it will appear and upload as normal. Well, that's it for today. I hope this helps with any common issues that you might experience.